I guess we're back. It's so nice out. I mean, it really is nice here. I think you should come in the fall, Sophia. It's it's awful in the summer. It's just what I'm thinking to myself. It's so nice. I gotta get Dave over here to fix the sprinklers because it's gonna be summer and it's gonna bake the grass if I don't have these sprinklers fixed. And I gotta make sure they don't chew the wires. But I, I did occasionally see people giving the command, look, look, look. And I don't believe that's a command. I don't. I, it's a state of mind. Because you can be a teacher and be in a classroom and tell the kids to look. <laughs> If you're having to do it, again, Billy Joe Armstrong doesn't stop. Stop playing, you guys. Stop. Uh, look at me. You know, I mean, it's a state of mind that you're constantly building. I think that's what you've got to think of. You know, it's who you are that you're that, you know. Because if you show this to your average person, oh, he just loves you. Or... Oh, he loves the treats. Oh, yeah, well, that's it. Just get the treats. It'll love you, too. You know, so it isn't that. It is it is a bigger picture, and it does have a lot to do with not looking at them. It does have a lot to do with seeing them without looking at them. I, I can perfectly see, and I'm perfectly aware of what he's doing, but he's looking at my eyes to see where my eyes are looking. That's how you get him looking at you. You know, he... You don't stare at some. You can't keep staring at somebody that's looking at you. Whereas you can go to a rock concert and stare at Billy Joe Armstrong. You know. I just use that as a, you know. I'm really more of an indie rock fan. Um, but, you know, you, you can't. It's, it's a state of mind. It's, it's not a command. So I do use the weaker pager on him. But again, if you said get rid of the dog, I mean, you know. To me, honestly, he's the ideal companion because he's low maintenance. Because it's him that's watching me. I don't have to worry about. And he is not neutered yet, so I have to be careful because he does like to run over there and bark at those neighbor dogs. But, you know, I think it is. I mean, you're not going to get, and you know that, Mike, you're not going to get one looking at you. You can hand the leash to somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. It's just, it's just, it is just like with horses. I can't make this dog not look at me, you know, but I deliberately did that since it was a puppy. He was groomed to be in love with me, you know, and I think that's where people go wrong. It's all about them. I love dogs. I want to pet dogs. I, they'll watch these. 300 years from now, psychiatrists will be watching this and say, God, they didn't see her. Couldn't they see her going off the deep end? You know, but I'm saying to myself, I'll groom this individual to be madly in love with me. You know, and that's what people aren't need to be saying. You know, not I love dogs. I want to give it love. I want to pet it. I want to hug it. I want to, oh my God, Mike, they even had this thing. I got to go back and find it. I, c I couldn't even stand to watch it, but it was babies and the people were sitting there poking the babies like chubby cheeks and the babies are trying to get away. It's, yeah, these kids can't go anywhere. They can't walk, but, you know, they're still trying to turn their heads awful. So this is the brother to Kanga, but he doesn't have, he's more like bumpers. He doesn't have all the air. And he's very, you know, that's what you want. And if you said you just deliberately groomed it to be like that, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Because I understand if they're not like that, it's going to be, And this is the one, remember, I can go back. I'm going to try to go back and find the very early video of him. But I would go like this. They're watching the hands. Boom. That was the signal. And I started him on the pager really young. You know, but you're just, you know, if you said, what's the benefit of the fluidity? It's fluid. Anything... All right, I just, here's another one, Mike. This, I just, just came up with this one. It's, it's an automatic transmission versus a manual. Does that fit anywhere? I don't really honestly. If someone said something happened to the transmission, I'd say, oh, that's awful. I don't know what that means, but, you know. I know it doesn't work without the transmission. Is that a good analogy? You know, if, if, the, if the prong caller is a manual transmission, then this is clearly the automatic. Well, he'll go this 
You want one to do something, laugh when they do it. Laugh when they do it. Ask any American, it works. Yeah. You hear any of these other people mentioning these things? No, they don't. And you do. You have to love doing it. And if you love doing it, when they do it, it's cute. And you laugh. You know, it's... That's how a lot of these dogs get a bad habit. It's running, jumping all over the kids. The kids are laughing, but then they start crying. <laughs> it's, just, it's a mess. All right, so I can just do the... And I just... I can kind of send this one, I think. Or maybe that's the other one. I think I can. He didn't get the basket at first, so... But I've already got that behavior. My send away is already there from the platform. I'm just adding my pager right there. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's just more seamless. But anyway, let me know, Mike, if that's a good, because, you know, if you said I've seen a lot of jerky moves, a lot of cranking, a lot of awkward, it's very fluid. And, and you know, if there's anything you want, it's, it's a fluidity to the whole thing. There's a flow to it. All right, so I think I can get him to get the basket, but I'm not going to tell him. I'm just going to do it by looking. He's starting to get it. He said, what's throwing him off? I'm going to tell you exactly what's throwing him off, and it's Skyler. And it's because he's not neutered. Not Skyler. Skyler is neutered. These, I got to go. I'm getting them neutered. I've already um, talked to Dr. Castro. But that's the, you know, that's what I want you to think. The whole thing's got to flow to it. If you were to put the dog's head in a computer program, honestly, you, you know, a prong collar or even the chain, you know, if they said, well, it kind of winced, it closed its eyes. All these things are just eating your fluidity. They're just eating your fluidity. You want all motions to be... I want, I'm saying to myself, honestly, I don't want to do anything that's going to obscure the eye line. I'm not reaching for the head. I'm not rubbing the head. So you can't rub the head. But everything is happening very, not all, everything is very smooth. The movements are smooth. You know, he's not, from his end, dog in training. You know, he's not getting jerked or anything. He's moving freely. He's moving freely. So that's what you have to think of. Once you put a chain on and start jerking him, I guess you guys, I used to do that. I used to do that. I remember. I mean, like you would have to get all different sizes. It would have to really be like the right size. And, you know, we just have to say that's been done to death. And any of you guys can go get the automatic. You know, if you said, I still drive a stick car. My friend Mark, the surgeon, he actually just sold his uh, manual transmission car. And like he said, nobody will ever steal it because nobody knows how to drive that kind of car. You know, nobody wants to know. So you've got to make things fluid and smooth and... Just get some speed because you can always slow one. You, you can always slow one down. I promise you that. But once they start lagging or doing anything like that and you're running damage control on that, oh, no, it's it's a hot mess. All right, guys, but listen, I'm going to do, Mike, I'm going to do a, um, just a movie, German Shepherds, but I'm going to go live on YouTube. Um, 
instead just because I've kind of been neglecting the YouTube so I'm gonna just I'm, I'll post it on here though but I'm just gonna go do a movie of them because it is it really is nice out so get out there you guys they're like, they're like it's not nice where we live um, you know but just think in those terms if it was me and it, my friend was like come on let's go do this let's go do that it's fun yay that would be much more than don't do this don't do that don't do this don't do that I'd be like these are the things I want to do and so I'll just the only thing getting in the way of doing them is you <laughs> you know so I'll run away from you that's what they do that's what these dogs do that's why people's dogs run away from them so you know, and this dog, I can't, you know, he, it, it doesn't matter what I, he's going to, you know, wherever I go, he's, it's, it's, and, and you need to do this with the puppy, Amber. This is, this is where the puppy needs to be. This dog is about, um, I have no concept of time, but they may be getting ready to almost be one year old. And I've conditioned them um, with this. And even then, he's drinking, but he's still keeping an eye on me. I've conditioned him with the pager very, very young. Even if you only did a recall with the pager on a very young dog, I promise you, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. They're unbelievably fast because they say, if you want fast, lady, I'll give you faster. If you say, I don't want fast, they'll say, oh. I'll do that when you're not around. That's what that's what happens, you know. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go live and let's do. If you have time, Amber, let's do like a little video thing. I can give you a couple tips, you know, that will help you get get them sped up. Because that my experience with any kind of bullies is, once they go sour, it's very hard to unsour them because they're just kind of like me. Screw you. You don't want me to go. I won't go. You can't make me. <laughs> that's what they do. It's awful.